I'm Scott Cannon, and I consider myself a consumer and voter advocate. There's an interesting race coming up in the May primary of 2018 for Pennsylvania's 10th Congressional District between incumbent Tom Marino and Bradford County Commissioner Doug McClinko. The statements from the candidates you will hear are falsehoods told to the media about fracking contamination. Now, whether you're pro or anti-fracking doesn't matter. This is about telling the truth, being held accountable for it, and making good decisions based on the truth, which neither of these politicians are doing. There are claims that the drilling is harmful to the environment and the people who live near it. Some lawmakers say, prove it. There is not one piece of documented evidence that shows that fracking is contaminating uh, the water, uh, the ground, the air. There has not been one, not one, factual and scientifically proven issue that says fracking contaminates water, contaminates the air. I'll be the first one to stand in place and say shut it down if that's the case. I ask people about it all the time and they'll say, well, I heard this. Well, get me the facts. I'm not given the facts. Tom Marino made these statements on television in November of 2014, three months after the Pennsylvania Auditor General released a report of 243 cases of groundwater contamination from fracking-related operations. As of October 2017, the DEP has confirmed 298 fracking-related contaminations, and that number is rising. And today we're going to go on a pickup truck tour, something that I like to do to our visitors to the county to get the good news of energy development out and the truth. We're going to show everything in our county, whatever anybody wants to see, because we have nothing to hide. And of course, you know that there's never been one fresh water supply ever affected by hydrofracturing. There's never been one fresh water supply ever in the decades, I mean 50 plus years of hydrofracturing ever affected. We've had no issues. Again, Commissioner Doug McClinko made these statements on a YouTube video produced by a natural gas public relations firm three months after the Auditor General's report. Not only does Bradford County have fracking water issues, it leads the state with 56 contaminations and the most water complaints filed related to fracking, according to the DEP. Good luck, Republican voters of the 10th Congressional District. You're going to need it. Both candidates are willing to stretch the truth for their corporate masters. Unless a better qualified, honest person enters the race, one of these candidates will win. But either way, the voters will lose.